and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 7th of September 2022 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So in the last week we have seen hedge funds and money managers reduce their overall net long position on gold by 4%. This was all to be expected as we discussed with you last week as you move into the beginning of September. Typically you're going to see strength on the dollar which is where we hit our previous profit target at the 109 level in anticipation for a strong dollar banking into strength on commodities as we continue to see strength right at the end of August. And then as soon as we hit the beginning of September, this is where we're seeing that pressure to the downside. Now, non-farm payroll on Friday for the metals was a non-event and in fact into the public holiday on Monday. This is where we saw a further boost to the upside for gold, silver, platinum and crude oil, which is very typical for a public holiday. As often, what we're seeing over 2022, markets tend to move into risk on, on a public holiday, and then the subsequent day, we get a bull trap and you get a big tank to the downside. So essentially, you see pressure coming back into the markets as we transition past the public holiday. We've seen this playbook play out so many times over 2022, where you get this steady decline after the public holiday, where you can capitalize and essentially sniper in at much lower prices. With platinum and silver, we are at some historic levels here in terms of commercial positioning, which is the third time in 20 years they have flipped into net long positions on both of these markets. So last week, Silver prices, they broke down towards $17.60 per ounce. We also have platinum breaking back down below $800 per ounce. Great areas to look at for further accumulation. Gold, as you know, we built into several positions from $1,700 down towards the 1690s last week to capitalize on that slingshot move high that we've seen at the beginning of this week so far. But I am looking for further opportunities to accumulate at lower prices, so particularly on gold. Right now, gold is trading at 1,700 US dollars per ounce. Any moves that we can make back down towards that 1680 or 1650 level would definitely be of interest. With silver, we're trading back below $18 per ounce. Any moves that we see back down towards that 1700 ounce level or lower, definitely zones of interest. The gold silver ratio, it has now broken out towards 100 to one, which is at multi-year highs at the moment, which means that silver relative to gold prices is one of the cheapest it has ever been. Now, with respect to the price action that we're seeing at the moment, I also see big opportunities here on platinum. So very much like silver, commercials have now flipped into net long. So they are typically always hedging their position in the market where they're selling short because they're essentially producing the metal, but they see the opportunity at these levels right now are so opportunistic to capitalize on these low prices that they've actually short term flipped to net long, which is presenting some unbelievable opportunities here on silver, platinum, and also I'd look at gold here as well. Again, below that 1700 level. Now, typically the month of September, we have so many risk off events, you can see the dollar index perform extremely well. So I would certainly look out for more potential pressure on the metals, but the name of the game here is to really accumulate nice and low. Do not get FOMO. Don't be chasing the moves when we are seeing these breakouts to the upside. So many traders got caught over the month of August, particularly where we have the CPI data in the middle of August. Many traders buying above the 1800 level for gold, getting trapped at much higher prices than liquidated. Once we saw the price action move to the downside, of course, you know ourselves, we banked over 2000 points on gold when it broke out to 1800, banking into strength in the middle of August, and now we're snipering in and buying much lower on the metals. Now this week, we have a major news item to be aware of. That's this Thursday's European Central Bank announcement. Now on that European Central Bank announcement, anticipation is for a 75 basis point rate hike. So the European Central Bank is anticipated to start moving off zero and then moving towards much more aggressive monetary policy. Obviously, we want to see what Christine Lagarde has to say during her press conference, but the expectation is at the moment that we are going to see more aggressive monetary policy from the European Central Bank. All eyes will be on that on Thursday. That can often provide a catalyst for a slingshot move to the upside after the pressure that we see to the downside ahead of that major news item as traders move into risk off. They want to wait and see what the approach will be of the European Central Bank. Then afterwards, you can see a flood of capital come back into the market. So again, going back specifically to gold here, we've got gold right now trading at 1,700 US dollars per ounce. We already took the opportunity last week to build into three positions under 1,700. I'm looking at accumulating more trades over the course of this month, but particularly this week, if we do see more weakness 
in the lead up to the European Central Bank announcement. And again, commercials have flipped net long into both silver and platinum. It's the third time in 20 years that this has occurred, providing tremendous opportunities. It doesn't mean they're going to immediately slingshot higher, but it does mean in the following months, typically probability is stacked in the favor of these metals going higher. So with that, this is where you want to be utilizing a research driven approach to the market, utilizing data, statistics, and market intelligence. Ditch those outdated technical analysis or gimmicky technical indicators. If you're not making money in the markets right now, you absolutely should be. And this is where you want to be utilizing data. It's 2022, the age of data. If you're still using outdated methods, purely technical analysis, you're just going to get chopped up all the time in these markets. It will end up being death by a thousand cuts. You'll keep getting delayed confirmation. You'll get stuck buying at the highs and then liquidated at the lows instead of using the opposite scenario where you want to be banking into strength at the highs and then reloading at the lows and accumulating at extremely low prices where we do have peak fear in the market as we do at the moment. So again, if you would like to learn the research of an approach to the market, you'll be learning the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity alongside that, the intermarket correlations, the capital flows in the market, the ratios, the key areas of liquidity, utilizing data, statistics, market intelligence, and further compounding that with the macroeconomics, the fundamentals, the narratives in the market, and of course, how the hedge funds, money managers, banks, and institutions are positioned in the market. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research of an approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.